you know, we got the pal talk thing happening. And it kind of pissed us off. The other day, we're reading in the paper that uh, some station, where are they? Providence? Where are they? Where is 670 the score from? Chicago? Uh, uh, They're out of Chicago? Are you sure? Anyway, it was in the paper that uh, this radio show was going to be using Pal Talk, and they're one of the first radio shows to use Pal Talk. Yeah, uh, to bring their listeners a little closer to the experience of the radio show. Yeah, and we're like, hello, hello. Everyone knows at this point yeah. we we put uh, Pal Talk on the map. Pal Talk and uh, radio oh, shows. Yes. That's it. Yep. Why not? Why not admit where you got the idea from? That's all. That's all we're asking yeah. for. Yeah. So uh, we checked out their little Pal Talk room. They had ten people in there today. So well, we had decided to what? There. Room raid. Room raid. Yeah. Uh, we told all the people in our room. We got hundreds of people in our room to just go there and uh, yeah, chat with them. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just reading things that are coming up. Uh, most of which I cannot. You suck, bitches. Uh, this room sucks. They are attacking them. So White Sox suck. You, so you can see the guy, too? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. The guy he is. Is with a befuddled look well, on his face. Here's the beauty of radio. This is happening right in front of the guy's well, face. He, he's not honest enough to, to at least uh, admit that it's happening. <laughs> he's just he's looking down and reading up stupid box scores, making believe he doesn't see what's going on right now. <laughs> this is what radio is all about right here. Frunkus. Douches like this. A lot of fruncus is coming through. Calling him a gravy leg. <laughs> when he's just sitting there. Uh, gravy leg. Uh, Bob, uh, Barry Bonds didn't hit a homer last night. <laughs> Why don't you talk about what's really happening right in front of your face, you loser? Oh, they're just attacking him. <laughs> the Look, score it, equals Moose C. <laughs> <laughs> a little call back from two days ago, Jimmy, huh? <laughs> oh, they're really ruining Someone this just wrote vagina. No, 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 no comment about it. No, That's, nothing. Just the word. That's perfect. This yeah. Is just there you go. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Once you make believe this isn't going on. There calling you go. him, calling there him you a go. kid toucher. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Oh, it's great. So Half the this, stuff we can't even read oh, on the air, unfortunately. You know the local media is probably monitoring that room today because yes. he just talked about how that they're like right. in, in pal talk. This and now terrific new thing that he invented. They're yeah. going to be looking yeah. at this and seeing them just being attacked with Opie and Anthony. <laughs> yeah. Look at this guy. Um, the text is scrolling by so fast, too. Can't People even read it. Pounding him. Oh, my God. Get, get AIDS. AIDS. Someone spammed him with get AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> it's going by so fast, it's like the Matrix green. Yeah, right? yeah that's all you're saying. <laughs> if he looks at it real hard, he can see himself. <laughs> this I, sucks. He's coming up all over this and over sucks. again. You suck. Uh, silly geese. I, I can't read anything. It's so fast. They're yeah. attacking them. It's like watching somebody be pummeled by 30 people. Yeah, like we're watching awesome. a mob attack. We have completely taken over that room, and we will every day now. This is what we do. You are not the first station to use pal, pal talk, you douche. That's <laughs> 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 a message. Oh, he's hey, what happened? They signed off. They signed, they signed off. off. Ah, they just ah, signed ah, off. Yeah, Let's douches. <laughs> there you go. There's real radio for you. They signed off. Not only are they not acknowledging what's going on, they signed off. They don't want to be a uh, part of this. Oh, that is funny. I say that we have to find out what room they start up next, because he's probably just going to start a different room and then say it on his awful radio show. Fine, we'll figure it out. We're all, we're live in Chicago right now. we got a bunch of people listening on WCKJ. Find out what uh, the next room he signs on as. Now they're yeah. just attacking a room. They're just attacking each other. Yeah, they're a bunch just... of guys yelling, Opie and Anthony. The <laughs> Cubs win! <laughs> Doing their... Uh, John Sterling impressions. Mike North, 670, the score. Mike's accomplishments include receiving the Entertainer of the Year... What? Receiving the Entertainer of the Year Award by the Special Children's Charities. Mm. Hey, well, what he a did guy. get the Irv... Uh, the uh, the Irv uh, Cup Synod Award. <laughs> and we all understand the Irv Cup Synod Award. What? Wow, it's that's... A very, it's a big get. Um, he also received uh, Man of the Year in 1999... And I, 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 a world's greatest dad cup someone handed him. <laughs> worst awards I've ever heard in my life. He received a You're a Good Guy shirt from a friend once. The Ellis Island Medal of Honor? What the hell is that? I it's don't just know. something you buy at the gift shop. Is it at Ellis Island? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're leaving. He received an iPod that he bought <laughs> at the store. He won the Silver Circle Award. What is that? From the National <laughs> yeah, Conference for Community and Justice of Chicago and Greater Illinois. No. That's a long name for an organization. Wow, uh, this is some impressive award. Uh, Mike was honored as of 2006 as an inductee into the Cl uh, Chicagoland Sports Hall of Fame. 
The first the, radio broadcast ever to be inducted. Ah. No, the first radio uh, uh, broadcaster that wanted to be in that horse crap. Media Excellence Award from the National Italian American uh, Sports Hall of Fame. Mm. But I got one of those. Uh, How many? Hey, I got that? my goal. If hey, you excellence. join any of these groups, you are going to then get an award five minutes later. <laughs> Yeah. Because uh, uh, you just walked in the door and, oh, God, somebody came in. I like how we received an award from the uh, Media Excellence Award from the National Italian American Sports Hall of Fame, yet he's not proud enough uh, to use his real name because it's Mike North. What, yeah. what, 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 where's his Italian last name? Yeah, Wait, he's exactly. back in the room. All right, he's back in the room. <laughs> no, <I'm not> <laughs> you fat piece of crap. Oh, is he? He's back in the room? Yeah, he is. I'm going to lose audio for him? a second. Sorry. There you go. Thanks, fellas. All right, good job. That's good, good job, boys nice and girls. Good time. job. Continue. They're calling it 670 the boar. <laughs> <laughs> I love words. The like boar. You. Just admit where you got the idea from, you loser. You guys are getting ripped apart by Mike North this morning. Oh. It's so funny. Who's Mike North? The guy from, <laughs> from yesterday. He's the guy from yesterday on the... Uh, oh, really? 670 the score. Oh, what is he? Go ahead. Attack their pal talk room again, everybody. Thank you. Please. <laughs> Listen. Just pound him. I have. Could a, someone get me Mike North's phone number? He's the guy who is uh, in Chicago. Where's Mike North? Uh, yeah, Pal Talk. There's another room raid on Mike North's uh, Pal Talk room. I don't even know who he is. He's the guy in Chicago who they did the Pal Talk yeah. thing. Now I know, but I mean, I don't know him by name. Yeah. What is it? Six seventy. Um, yeah. I'll invite you. Yeah, invite me. Let me look. Let me look. I'm going to get bounce. Well, let's see how long it takes me to get bounced when I just. I'm going to plug obscenities just in here. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Mike is a cunt. There it is. <laughs> I'll just copy paste, copy paste, and see how long it takes me to get booted. Uh, All right. Well, booted. Scott Owen from Chicago. Uh, what is he saying? You can't just say you guys are getting ripped apart by Mike North this, is, this yeah. morning. It's so funny. What is he saying? Yeah, what's he saying? Huh? I, I want to... I wish there was a way, there's no way to leave it on top, right? No. I don't know. It's not your fault, sweetie. I'm sorry. Mm, wow, still no walkover. Calling in the XM show once again. 9.15 to 10.45 with two commercial breaks. First of all, we can't do a Fucking walkover. Hack, ass bitches, lame ass fuckwas. Complain, complain, complain. We uh, can't do a walkover when the fucking we're in the same building. They're, guess, they're doing the studio. Why am I yelling? I bet this gets to you, huh, Greg? Yep. It got to me. That's why I read it. Um, oh. Mike North, I want to see his pal talk room. Eric's trying to get the contact information. You know the worst thing is? All my, all my pals from pal talk are in this room. All the admins, Gary's in here, and right. everybody, mm -hmm. and I'm just <laughs> copy and pasting. Mike is a cunt over and over again. Aren't you gonna get banned? <laughs> yeah, they're gonna bounce me from the room. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. This is a G-rated room. Uh, it's a G-rated room. Yeah. Oops, G for garbage. Oh God. All right, this I don't is. Know, I that All right, let's go to George in Chicago. George, what's up? Hey there, George. George. Yeah. Are you there? During your last commercial break uh, on FM side, uh, Mike North, I was flipping around. He was saying uh, these guys are tools, that you guys are kind of creation of Joel Hollander, and it's not working here in Chicago. And also that uh, you guys are supposed to be so cutting edge. You know, what are they going to apologize for next? He's just a douche. Is that the best he has? Really? Wow. Yeah, because that, that would hurt. All right. Oh, apparently they got me on some kind of a filter. Yeah, can't see you. Fuckers, I wrote all that Mike is a cunt for nothing. <laughs> Shit. How do you do that one? Well, can you write something? Maybe they're filtering certain words. So just write something nice. Mike's a goose. Mike's a goose. See, we're too lazy to figure out that you could do that. And we could do that in our own power. Oh, talk we room. don't care, right? Wait a minute. I'll write hi. There. Did that show through? Your message, text message is calling disabled from the room. Oh, they disabled text from me. Oh, yeah. They sh should have. You're a little potty mouth. Bastard. Boy. So, uh, no what's interesting about guys like Mike North? He says that uh, we're not working in Chicago and all that, right? But he gets this pal talk idea from the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the hypocrisy just amazes me. If we're not working, then why, uh, why, why are you just taking the pal talk idea? 
if we're not working. We're on your radar in some way, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Chris in Chicago, what's up? And once uh, again, if we're not working in Chicago, then the get rid there. of us in Chicago. I beg the company, get rid of us in Chicago if we're not working. We've been on the air for over a year in Chicago. Radio shows don't get the chance to do a year in a city. Maybe an overnight guy because no one's listening, but morning guys don't get a year unless something's happening. Chris, what's going on? Sorry. I don't know if you guys know, but Mike North started out as a hot dog vendor. A hot dog vendor. Did he? Did he really? Did he yes, serve he him did. with his mouth uh, or up his ass? On the north side of Chicago. He went around with and, the hot dog uh, he, up he his hiney hole. Sports, and they gave him uh, air time. So, yeah, his number of... Don't get him on the phone. Vendor, Why does he need th four... Pal talk admins in that room. There are four of them. Red name. Th those are the big bosses. And actually, like the owner of Pal talk, I think is in that room. Probably because he was getting killed yesterday. Yesterday. And he's probably threatened to complain on the radio if they didn't do something. Uh, here's his number: three one two six four four sixty seven sixty seven three one two six four four sixty seven sixty seven. Have serious, fun. Serious calls only. Have fun. But that's probably because he had to complain. That That's they it. Got the guy destroyed in his own room. Have fun taking your calls now. And 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 he's saying love a good battle. And he's saying that we're not doing well in Chicago. He's on the AM dial almost as as low as you go. <laughs> Come on. Hey, Pal talk has bounced. Dug out. Doug from the chat room. <laughs> Everyone's bounced. Of course they are. Thank you, Dougie. <laughs> Thank you, Dougie. Anything oh. you say that's uh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. What's great is that. Uh, good luck, bro. They came into our room, the Paltuck admins, uh, yesterday to remind us that it's a G-rated room and to not use obscenities. Fuck them. Fuck Mike North in his fuck hole. Hey, that's what I say. I like saying it. But I don't have Can many, I use it? I don't have many things. I'll toss you a couple of bucks. I got to protect the things I got from All right. the show because I don't have many. He can take fuck a his hike. mouth. Let's or see. that, Jimmy. <laughs> that's why... Fuck him in his fuck hole is so much better. But it's Fiddle mine. Sticks. But it's mine. I copyrighted it and everything. All right. I yeah. won't use it. T-shirt's coming for my brother, I'm sure. He's a wet end. <laughs> he can I, get bent. I don't care if the pal talk uh, uh, bosses think that uh, uh, it's a G-rated room and we can't go in there. If that guy's going to go on the air and, and bash us, we, we can go into his pal talk room and say whatever we want. Fuck him. Travis fuck him. Talking to his producer. Why? Uh -huh. Get Mike on the phone. What, oh, to Travis, get him on the phone? Travis flirting? Yeah, I'd rather our listeners just beat him up. He ain't worth the our, our fucking airtime. Mm. Bastard. Mm. Are they throwing people out just writing pro ONA stuff? Or yeah, we'll just curse on the air and get him thrown off. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll curse on the air and get him uh, fined. Uh, <laughs> well, you can't curse in the room. How about... I uh, know oh, that wouldn't be allowed. You can't curse in the room, but you could have anal sex. So that makes sense. Any jackers allowed? Do we have anyone who wants to... Get on cam and jack in his room. <laughs> you want to jack, Jim? I certainly do. All right. <laughs> Who haven't I jacked in front of? Oh, that'd be really fucking funny. <laughs> this idiot's talking and someone's just jacking off in his room. <laughs> hey, somebody ought to go into some of the fucking adult rooms and, uh, and, and like, where they're all jacking. And, and and say you should see all the girls licking pussy in this room or something, and then get all these fucking jackers to go to his room <laughs> and stroke their delicious uncut fucking uh, suicide bombing cocks. <laughs> Mike North Morning Show on MySpace. Eric, you don't have to raise your hand. You're a part oh. of the show. Mike North. North Morning Show on MySpace. We have hey, a, shut up. Have fun with that one. Uh, <laughs> yes, useless. We have an update. Uh, at 9.40, he wants to talk to you live on both shows. <laughs> 9.40, we're going to talk to him at today. At 9.40. 9.40. 9.40 a.m. Is, is it 9.40 our time or their time? It's Chicago. <laughs> Everyone's our going time. in and raising their hand on his... <laughs> Look at all the raise. They all want to chip in. <laughs> they all want to say hi. <laughs> Where's this, where, how come the audio is not... Why is it not scrolling? They're not allowing anybody to talk? No, no one else can talk. And they they froze um, they froze the uh, text. Oh, can they do that? We're, wow. we're ruining his little pal talk show. The pal talk experiment is bombing. Yeah, and it should bomb. I think we work for the same company, by the way. Do we? I don't give oh. a shit. 
then Cowboy he's a Cowboy. great guy. No, stop. <laughs> Fuck him. Uh, Jason and Rye, faithful listener of the Opie and Anthony show. Boy, do we all come together when we have to. Yep. And then we can go back to hating uh, hating each other. We'll, exactly. We'll hate you guys. You'll hate members of the show. But, but when we need each other, boy, we come together. We're like the Irish. We're like Irish brothers. You Irish the, brothers. You beat the crap out of each other, but someone tries to beat one of you up, then you, you gang together. <laughs> that's it. That's uh, that's this show in a, in a nutshell. What's up, uh, Jason? Hey, man. Uh, there's a, a couple of guys downstairs from Canada. We were wondering if there was any way we could come up and uh, watch a show somewhere. How in many chicks Canada? are with them? They got chicks? Uh, no, it's not special. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, eh? Uh, what part of Canada? What part of Canada? Uh, I don't know. That's the other guys. I was down here because I'm, uh, I'm in town first. I'm Tell the Canadian uh, guys if they will uh, butt rub. Yeah. A butt rub gets hey, them uh, in the studio. Yep. If they get their cocks the, out and uh, jump up and rub? down. Oh, get upstairs? Not too much. What? That. Will you guys do the butt rub to get upstairs? Uh, I don't know. bending over. Hmm. Wow, this is a weird one. I'll read all the weird ones today. Opie, you douche. Who gives a shit if Mike North is utilizing fucking pal talk? You fuckers attack North first for no reason. Opie, you bring nothing to the ONA show, with the exception of attacking defenseless people. I think that's So you're lot. saying Mike North is defenseless? Huh? What? Thanks, Jimmy. And it, but I, I also do you know, fuck him in their fuck hole. But the attack was because he kind of claimed that he was like one of the first... Yeah, he was bragging like in the press it about it. That was the problem. Wasn't he, the, he? Of course he could use pal talk. We would encourage other shows. All right. Hey, would you blow me? Wow. I bet you that's what it says on your license. Ew. Hey, would you blow me? From the school of John uh, Minnelli, I guess. But John, that sounds like... John Minnelli is your mentor. Hide behind uh, outrageous names that we used to say in third grade. But the, the, hey, type wait, whatever the fuck you want. Hey, would you blow me? Sounds like, hey, would you blow me? That's I know. Name. Nice. Oh, is that what the joke is on that? That's what makes it so crazy. I never understood that one. That's what makes it so crazy. It was just a wacky name. Yeah. yeah. Who's named Haywood? I'm sure uh, Mike Hunt is uh, going to be uh, uh, instant feedback any, any minute now. Let's uh, say hi to Doug out, Doug. Doug. What's Doug. Up, Hello, Douglas. Do we love you or hate you today? I don't know where we're at. I don't know. I'm I can gonna... barely hear you, though. Yeah, well, why would the phones work? The sound's all fucked up. Why would the phones work? We've just I been asking for a few days to get the volume up in the phones, and of course because, Doug's going to uh, keep talking because he can barely hear us because he's usually really good at this type of thing. He never talks over us when we're trying to do our radio show, yeah. proving that XM still hasn't figured out the fucking phones. Doug, what were you saying? I said, yeah, uh, we, I want to we thank you guys for the little on-air mention before about getting bounced from that room. Because yes. about 20 seconds afterwards, I got banned from Pal Talk completely. Why? I, I have no idea. I got bounced from the uh, ONA live room, and then it said uh, I was no longer allowed to join any groups. So I don't Is know if just... there's any other fans out there that were uh, in the score room that got bounced and banned. Well, they absolutely shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, Pal Talk's going to start... Uh, if... You know, do you think that Mike North is giving you more than the ONA show? That room's got like 10 people in it until we raid it. <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, first of all, Mike Hunt on instant feedback. Did someone say my name? <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, Greg from Philly, hilarious. And good idea leaving the calls to uh, Mike North uh, to the past. Knowing you, you might wind up just talking about the White Sox pitching rotation woes before getting your shots in. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> So what what's going to happen there, uh, uh, Dougie? How'd you get banned? I can barely hear at all. How did how did you get banned? I have no idea. About twenty seconds after you guys, uh, I think you said it, Jimmy. You said oh, yeah. Cause I, I that, the last thing I saw was that you got bounced out of the room. So I figured you said something. Uh, no, I actually was just sitting in there. I think I plugged my website once. Uh, <laughs> wow. But um. Yeah, and I got bounced from that room, and then I got bounced from the live room after you said it on the air, and then I was banned completely. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's it the is. four red admins in there can do whatever they want. Yeah. Uh, Uh-oh. IP Freely from New Jersey. Uh, he's writing in. IP Freely? Uh, Opie, I think you're just dandy. Ah. Oh. Thank you, IP. What, a, what an odd name. No, I wonder what his initials are. No, if it's a compliment, then they are using their real name. Yes. I figured that out a long time ago. Irving... Patrick? Irving. Freely, probably, something like that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, okay. 
Let's see. Chicken shit from Albuquerque says Opie sucks. So chicken see, shit? Just a guy hiding. But if it was chicken shit, Opie's great, then obviously his, his name Parents really is really chicken odd. shit. Sure. All right, Doug. Well, what are we going to do about this? How do you get back in there? I don't know this stuff. Doug? I don't know. We'll have to uh, see what the red admins say. They're never in our room. Oh, my God. Uh, Mike seems Anthony. to... Hey, this you is can... like the old days of XM when uh, no one could hear anything. <laughs> yeah, I... It's, you know, I don't blame XM for having crappy phones because, you know, uh, they only found out like uh, two days ago that they were redoing our studio and we would be displaced for, you know, a, a month, month and a half. So I don't blame them. It was a last minute thing that they realized they had to uh, take care of. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, that has to be fixed by tomorrow. That's right. Or Monday. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, sure. How is our call going to go with Mike North if we can't uh, hear if he can't hear us? It's good. We're going to look silly. Bastards. I got a wedding to go to today. <laughs> I'm all excited about. Amanda <laughs> Amanda Hug and Kiss uh, from Wagpag. Okay. Amanda Hug and Kiss? I'm a fan of only you and I hear you were looking for me. Say that's, see, that's her real name, because it's a compliment. It's a him. Amanda Hug and Kiss. No, Amanda. Amanda. Amanda Hug and Kiss. <laughs> but who, if you're out of last name Hug and Kiss, why would you call your daughter Amanda? Because, uh, her, you know, their parents were hippies. Oh. It's like a joke, almost. A joke name. Yeah. Are oh, there red admins Ivana in Ivana Tinkle our room? from FBA says, hey, leave Haywood alone. I think his name is funny. <laughs> uh oh, Gary from Pal Talk, get the fuck out of my room! Get the fuck out of my room! Can I bounce him? Now this is very. Damn, this yeah, is boy, very... I'm trying to use my bounce powers. They don't work against the red admin. You do not have sufficient access to bounce the user. Oh my God, he's like the Death Star! Holy shit! I can't bounce Gary. These these. Bastards has figured out a way to get to me still. Ah, here we go. Hold on. I got it. I got it. Close room. What? Boom. He's bounced. <laughs> now you can't I close our room. No, now I'll reopen it. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, these fucking... There we go. Yeah, too many things go on. By the way, they, they, they figured out... They figured around my little scheme here. I got a dilemma. What? Well, now we got a guy, his name is Opie is a cunt. And it has to be his real name because he says Opie is great. So now what do I do? Oh, man. There's a guy out there whose real name is Opie is a cunt. Cunt is great. <laughs> we all love cunt. Who doesn't love cunt? Get those hands up. <laughs> you fuckers, you figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Uh, well, alcoholic. Hey, guys, love you. Love the show. <laughs> <laughs> Alcoholic Buster Hyman loved the show. Say, has to be his real name if it's a compliment. <laughs> Claude Balls, uh, OPU rule. Claude Balls? <laughs> yes. Is that his name? The Claude Balls. Yes. <laughs> Barry McCockiner, OPU are the greatest. So. Barry, <laughs> wait a minute. Barry McCockiner? Yeah. <laughs> I've never it, heard of him. It has to be his real name because he's given a compliment to me. So <laughs> <laughs> he said that Mike North said we, we're calling him because we must need some listeners. Oh, st don't e d stop that, with that one. That old gag. That old gag. He's going with that old gag. Oh, he's going with that old gag. That is an old gag. I mean, I, I'm not sure what we should talk to him about. <laughs> Let yeah. me say. I'm not sure. First thing. What? I'm not sure what we should say to him. <laughs> Like, on the air, but I think yeah. we can handle it responsibly. All right. Uh, Doug, Where is he? Doug? Four minutes. Four minutes? <laughs> Four minutes? All right. All right, Doug, we're going to let you go because you can't really hear us. <laughs> Doug? Yeah. Uh, Dan in Pennsylvania. Dan? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, hey, I just want to say, you know, when you guys first went over to FM, you said, give it a chance, give it a chance, it's going to be great, it's going to make the show better. Yep. But with the censorship getting worse and worse, I mean, you guys are afraid to talk about anything nowadays. Yep. And now you're just goofing off on the XM show, not really doing anything. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, like it, it was better back in the day. I'm sorry, guys. I love you. Back in the day. When is the day? Yeah, a lot of people like when to say back in the day. Oh, when we first came on XM. Wow, I, I disagree. I think when we first came on XM, we were yeah, pretty wrong and, and didn't really know what we were doing. Ah, right. But if you, that's what you think, then so be it. What can I tell you? Um, you're right. You know something? Play that. Play that Carlin bit. Play the Carlin House of Blues bit. Like when we first came on XM for 20 minutes. Remember those fucking comedy bits? Uh, Jim yeah. Norton on instant feedback. Yeah, they I don't, sucked. I don't think Opie is funny at all, and I think they should promote that other sweet boy in studio. Now, see, this can't be Jim Norton because he, 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 uh, I have a BlackBerry. Did you really write that? No, I don't know how to fucking see the keys. Did, did, did you really write that? <laughs> Here's the dilemma with my BlackBerry. Someone can help me. All right, we'll get to some business here. Speaking of calling uh -huh. it in, uh, listen to this uh, radio wisdom coming up there, Dan. I uh, cannot see the keys. I'm, I'm like an old man. I bought the new BlackBerry yesterday because I figured it would get me laid. A chick would yeah. see me with this. And the fucking keys, I can't see them. I can't see them. How do you not see? You sound like an old man. Because they have. Little, I can't see them. They're glowing little blue keys. I can't see them. Where's Hope going? You might be colorblind. He's got to take a. No, uh, piss. no, 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 I'm not. Oh. Since we're just phoning it in, he decided he was just going to take a piss. Since that gentleman that just called said we were just uh, phoning in. I'm waiting for the iPhone. There's a good discussion because people, uh, Pal Talk is upset with us. Because of something with them and CBS. Really? Something that should be read verbatim on the. Don't you understand? Well, I, I, I want to say to Palto, don't you understand? We're having fun. It's fun. It's fun to listen to Obi piss. As <laughs> I better not sting that much. Jesus, how much beverage does he have in the morning? Don't room raids are hysterically fun, and so what? You got to take some time to bounce some shit out. It's not like this guy had pal talk uh, last week. It's new to him. Let him enjoy uh, uh, what it's like to get your room raided. It happens. Pal talk, uh, lighten up a little bit. Don't worry about it so much. Don't take yourself seriously now. We were all having fun, pal talk. It was all a big goof and everything. Don't go thinking you're fucking Google, okay? Relax. Have some fun. We have fun with Pal Talk. Don't make me get on the air and say 99% of the fucking rooms are full of Arabs jacking their fucking cocks. Mm, I know. Uh -oh. <laughs> Why I join? I just brought up something I enjoy personally. Yes, uh -oh. right. Oh, <laughs> gotta make uh, don't worry about it. Uh. By the way, speaking of Continental, which I always fly, how great is it that liquid shit <laughs> was <laughs> fucking trailing down the aisle? Boy. Jimmy... I thought of you when I heard this story, because Jimmy is a, a big proponent of Continental Airlines. He has actually gotten all of us to uh, book uh, Continental all the time. Yes. And uh, whenever I hear something happen with Continental, I think of Jimmy and what he would do put in that situation. Jimmy, you're flying. Yes. Raw fucking sewage from the bathrooms starts gushing and sloshing down the aisles. That's right. What do you do? I take off my shoes... <laughs> And I, I dance like Scatman Crothers singing <laughs> Minnie the Moocher. <laughs> I scat in it. Scat in the scat. Like, yeah, I take my feet, I kind of do like the side shuffle, like a shooby dooby doo. Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. Uh, we gotta be clean. Travis is calling Mike North now. We gotta be clean. It says, okay, we gotta be clean. Okay. Um, okay. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Do we have him? Talk loud because our phones are screwed up, our remember? Phones are messed up. Hello? They don't have to on that side, but we do. Hello? We got to talk loud. Hello? <laughs> Hello? We have a dumb phone. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Mike? Yeah. Hi, Mike. How are you? Uh-huh. Hello? Pal Talk's got to uh, relax a little bit. I agree. Hello? Don't Pal get all uppity like it's the dot-com days. Oh, a minute 30, Eric. All right, you Hello? Minute 30. Well, we it's a minute 30, Opie. Hello? How was that piss? Hope you had a nice piss, Arnold. How's it good I got a tinkle, too. Yeah, yeah, it but it's like a minute 30. Oh. Oh. Up in just 60 seconds on the score. 60 seconds, Jimmy. Uh, 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 now, first of all, we didn't say we invented pal talk. Who, who? 
We we utilize Pal Talk, and it's great. Hoo hoo! A lot of fun. And if other stations want to do it, that's fine too. It's not fine. But it's not fine. But it's not fine. Don't uh, put out a press release like uh, your fucking uh, mm -hmm. George Washington Carver of Pal Talk. Mm -hmm. Let's see, try to be diverse in my analogies. Mm -hmm. Jimmy, wow, that was a fast one. How's your cock, Jimmy? What happened? <laughs> Small, you got shy, itchy. right? What? You got shy. You got oh oh you got uh, you know what shy up 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 he's putting his cans on all right yeah putting my cans on uh. eagerly awaiting oh <gasps> I forgot to put up the um the cameras of um some of our listeners Good morning show. On the score. 842, weather on the score, mostly cloudy today. We could get some yeah. this afternoon, uh, especially uh, later on this afternoon with some thunderstorms likely. Highs in the yeah. upper 80s, 40% chance of rain tonight, lows mid 60s, and another 40% chance of precipitation tomorrow. Highs tomorrow about 80 degrees. Currently at O'Hare, 73 at 74 at Midway, and Mike also 74 at the lake. Ooh. Casey looks Basically, beautiful. We're going to try to get Opie and Anthony on. We've been rebuffed by that. But I will also say this about Opie and Anthony. Okay? Wait, Maybe been rebuffed by... And everything else. See, See this is... Oh, let's, I let's They've been called worse just like I have. I yeah, they have. I, come on. You think they take pride I, in being I, called a tool you by you. Oh, oh, what, what's up, uh, Iraq? Their management won't let uh, us go on the phone because they don't think we'll, we can keep it clean. So they said we've been rebuffed by them. I'm a proud man. They, li they just lied and said well, that we've hammer been rebuffed. We get no. More of this hammer and knee. I rarely hammer. I just hammer. You hammer all over this land? <laughs> More of this phony radio <laughs> crap. We didn't, we, we didn't rebuff them. We're waiting right we're here. We're waiting. How do, you, how do you think we're listening to the show? We're on hold. You can't. Yeah, we're listening to the show on hold. How did we rebuff you, you stupid fuck? I'm so glad that we, 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 we were able to, like, uh, show that these guys are just a phony. Uh, yes. Yeah. Way, Kobe Bryant. You I do a clean a radio show, show for yeah. three hours a day. Yeah. How we know how to keep it clean. Looks like yeah, someone was right scared right of us. Did he know? Hold on, maybe oh, the management can be convinced. Maybe they don't. Oh, he did it himself. Yeah, and he says okay. at the end, he says, "Hey, well, can we you monitor their horse crap, please?" We, we were rebuffed by them. We're on hold. Watch, I'm now putting them on hold. They said not. God, these radio guys—they're so fucking phony. Oh, are they phony? What? Management's calling Travis right now to uh, work it out so that they can put us on. Well, at least we have our finest representative handling this. Yeah, well. Wow. Well, the first thing I'm going to say is, what was that we were rebuffed? To. Why did you lie to the audience right there? That's a great way to start off a, a conversation. Oh, this God. This video's about... Guys can just go on the air and say whatever the fuck they want, and it's 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 taken as fact. We just we just caught the guy in a lie. We're on hold waiting to go on the air with mm. him, and he's saying that we rebuffed him. We might have rebuffed him if, you, if we had something else to do on this side of the show. Why do they have pal talk, I wonder? It's not like he's showing his lovely hiney like Jimmy does. Let's go to Jay. Jay, what's up? Hey, Jay. Jay. Hello. What's hey. up, Jay? Going on. What's hey. up, Jay? What's going on? Hello, what? hello. I hello. hear you, Jay. Go, Jay. All right. Let's... Jay. Hey, Holy mother of Jesus. Can you hear us? Jay, can you hear us? Yes, definitely. Then we'll, then... Fucking talk. Why aren't you talking? I'm talking into my fucking telephone. What is happening? I'm not understanding your language. Hello? I want I want him dead. Jay, I funny. so want this guy to die. I think he's funny. <laughs> Shut up, Jimmy. Jay, say Let's what you want to say. Yeah, what did you call for? Go, go. The show used to be better. These guys had crazy fucking bands on there, the baseball bat challenge, fucking uh, girls on the couch, all kinds of crazy shit. Are you a member of that band? <laughs> he's talking about everything that happened on one show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, all the show. The what? The thing you had on there, they were running around beating each other with baseball bats. And Jay, blood. why yes. don't you just say oh you're associated with that band? Huh? Why don't you just be honest and, and tell us how you're associated with that band? I'm not associated with that. You're band. lying. Why? How am I because lying? 
because they haven't been on in two years. And you're mentioning this like it happened eight minutes ago. I drive around in, in, in a fucking Saturn, uh, Persian prostitutes. Oh, God. See, I'm glad Thanks, this guy Jay. doesn't like the show. Thank you, Jay. We uh, don't like your show. Let's go to Joe. Joe, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? I'm here with my uncle. I turned him on to your show, and he absolutely loves it. You got a new fan here. We're going to keep spreading the virus. Uh, right on. What's his name? You. Gary. Let's talk to Gary. Uncle Gary, go ahead. How you doing? I love your show. What do you like about the show, Uncle Gary? I think you guys... <laughs> just... Uncle Gary doesn't know the show very well. <laughs> Can we discuss Continental Airlines? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Jim. Okay. You, you were talking about that. Uh, just the <laughs> fact that... that... Wait, wait I need Gary. a White Sox update, though. <laughs> oh, what's that pal talk? I got 48 other teams. Out there at Bradley. Let me ask you a question. I don't know if you guys have even uh, broached this. Subject. I found out there's air conditioning in the dorms, by you, the way. But do you know? I have to bring my own sheet. Do you know if you're going to be one A, two A, three A, or four A? Because I think they're going to four divisions this the, year. The, the most four dreadful class. mistake made. Indiana basketball now yeah. is no longer relevant because. Right. They oh, went. this is why I yeah. hate sports talk. Uh, no, no, I like that. You want to keep going? Yeah. Yeah. They're talking about how many divisions they're going to. First year, doing it. you should have two, the two classes yep. A and double A. I'll continue to. To, to toot my horn on yet. This is a depth yeah, now. It's wrong. Basketball. Do you know which right. one you guys are going to fit into? You know what I love? No, You're in your car you know going, yeah, that's what I think. A and double A. God, someone's finally <laughs> saying that. <laughs> it should be two classes. This is why I hate sports, sports talk. Are, I mean, people won't know. And, and I'm a sports fan. Using. He didn't want to There's toot his own horn. Public league schools, I would think, are, aren't going to be the biggest one. Right. Well, and that can be because uh, some of those schools don't have as many kids. Right. I Exactly. So, well, you know, we'll see what happens. By the way, Opie and Anthony, I understand they're listening to our show live. We wish them nothing but the best. Oh, that's but nice. But I can't believe they're mad about me calling them tool. I've been called a million things. So they We're not sure. mad because you call... Oh, my I love God. that he called us a tool. Yeah, I call myself a, a people, tool. A lot of things worse. Well, what have we been called? <laughs> well, yeah, same thing. I don't know because no one knows you. Uh, I love how these guys try to lump themselves into our success. We want well, we've been called worse. I don't even know your name. We you want know ours. I didn't Good know they them. called us tools. Good for them. I really they didn't know either. Them. You know what? If we get him on, okay. You know, we, you know what? Maybe we should get him on. Maybe I'll talk talk management into doing it. What do you think, Fred? That's up to you. Oh, God, should I go in there and 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 and, and state my case? If I, fake, to be honest, if they show. join us, yeah. it'll be the first. Because they're already talking they to are, me. I listen to them all the time. Uh, when they were on before, I know, they're I on at night on CKG. They were, huh? When they were first here in the market, they were on at night. Yeah, I used to listen to them. Right, I was listening yeah. to White Sox baseball. And then the St. Patrick's thing? Uh-huh. You know, the, power, classic, the powers of persuasion to get two people news. to do that is pretty good. You have to give them credit. Oh. Consensual sex and appeal? Yeah. At yeah, St. Patty's. I mean, that's pretty good. That was a good bit. <laughs> that's a good radio. It's, it's always a good bit to get fired. <laughs> All right, it's 849. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, it it great admiration. And then they that. get fired. You go, what the hell do we do that bit for? <laughs> what does things move up fast? It's 849. <laughs> oh, please get... Please get us on the air. This is like slapping a, around a third grade. I think they like us. I do too. I think they like us. I, think, I, I, I do too. One place to go in this. I, I don't think they uh, have a problem with us at all. Can I, can I make a point? And this could be wrong. The score. We at times overreact. <laughs> but what, what, wait, wait, hold on. We we over like. Here's what happened. He might have said this. But I'm, again, I didn't hear it. But he might have said, yeah, we're one of the first uh, shows in the area to use the thing. He may not have avoided giving props. He may have actually said it, or he may have gone, he said, because he didn't say we're the first. I don't care about the props. Oh, no, well, why would we I care? just think, let me tell you something. Here's my whole take on it. I think it's hysterically funny to have all of our dopey listeners plow into his room and screw with it. It's just fun. I don't know the guy. I don't even know his show. But it shows he doesn't know fun, because if someone did that to us, we'd be laughing. We'd laugh. And, and, and like, then we'd be like, all right. find him and goof back. And I then we care. would attack back. That's how you do it. But to get the Pal Talk administrators in there to, to freeze everyone out. I know. And it's like, like, ah, like, come on. Have come a little on, fun man. with it. But I, have fun, I will stop talking about Division AA high school basketball. Pop up some of the cameras and look at like people jerking. It does seem like he likes the show, though. Yeah. And, uh... <sighs> No, I, 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 I'm not. I wouldn't get on there if the, if it was as serious like this guy was being an asshole thing. That's one thing. The guy, the guy's he's doing his show. He does seem to not give a shit. 
It doesn't seem like he doesn't like us. But we no. don't care that he called us tools. And tools, I don't care about that. That's a little He's hurt. right. We have been called a lot worse by our own program directors <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and ex-program directors. And I and I don't know if it's a fact or not. Bosses. I may, I may have done his Current show bosses. at one point. Current bosses, past bosses. I may have been on that show. I don't know. Really? I, I honestly don't remember. You know why I remember? I remember if it's the show I did, it's a while ago, and you get a cup. Like, he gave out, like, a little pack of, of stuff, like, nice, like, cup and shirt and all this. Thanks for coming on. I don't remember. But as I'm seeing the logo, I'm like, do I have that cup in my... <laughs> can, I, can I jump in? Okay. I just started laughing because usually if you're a guest on our show, you pretty much get beat, the, beat up. Yelled at, yeah. made to look awful, and then we uh, make sure you... Uh, you you get a plug. Uh, and you get a kick in the ass on the way out the door. And a plug. Here you go. <laughs> Just, Here's your hat. What's your hurry? Jim <laughs> Buckets. <beat it. laughs> he gives out little like gift bags. If it's the guy I'm thinking oh, God, of, he was we, very... We I gotta say suck. it. If I got to If it's the guy I'm thinking of, yeah. I did his show. He was very cool. He was very supportive, and he gave a nice thing when I left. If that's the guy, I don't yeah. remember. It's been a while. Yeah. But as I don't know why it's sounding very familiar. It's more the logo. So I'm like, I think I remember that being on a yeah. up. I have. Well, maybe we should give out gift bags. No. Yeah. With Erock's colon pieces, <laughs> we give a bag with a, a piece of Eric's colon. No disrespect, Erock. I think people no would disrespect. like that. No disrespect. They could chew it like it's calamari. <laughs> Oh, what a mess. And the rain came in at <laughs> oh, five. In the not rain. on, on I can't watch the regular radio. Oh, we're going on? We might be on there. In the rain from the beginning to no. the end. Yeah. I haven't. I can't. A couple times. I yeah. mean. And I will be honest. I, I like this guy's I voice. I read the movies. It's this a wonderful has got life. Chicago written all over it. It sounds say, like Chris Farley and, and Jim Belushi doing a radio show. I do like the... Uh, Lawrence of Arabia is Chicago. seven. List eight. Vertigo, nine. And The Wizard of Oz comes in at number 10. Well, Chris your Thomas? list was good, but I don't know. No, it's, it's not that good. Best ever. Here, here. Oh. I got number 10, Gone with the Wind. Right. right. Number nine. Mm -hmm. Let them do our show for us today. Washington. Yeah. Now, this these, is interesting. These weren't even in the top 10. Uh, high noon is number eight. It's a wonderful life. Kevin from, from Connecticut. The Mike Ditka right? show. <laughs> yeah, it is like that. No. It's not even Chris Farley. Yeah. Mike Ditka. Mike. They're so controversial yeah, because... I hope people enjoyed our continental break. Who would win in a fight it's between it's Ditka totally and a rhinoceros? <laughs> you got to give it to Ditka. Ditka! That bit was great. Uh, number three, Casablanca. Number two, Raging Bull. Number one... The Godfather, Citizen Kane's not in my top ten. I mean, what? Wow. Fair enough. Fair enough. Did you like Citizen yeah, Kane? I've never seen the whole thing. Oh, That's what I'm clean. saying. Godfather is... What? I've got to be clean now. He's a popular. The Rage of Bull was great. I'm glad they finally gave that uh, some, some marketability. Officials in Columbia, South Carolina, believe a couple may have been having sex when they fell naked to their death. Hey. The cab driver found them. Look at that bit. I heard this story. What else would they be doing? Bed? Police say it looked like they dropped 50 pew, feet. It looks like the bodies oh. dropped 50 feet from the downtown reference. building roof. I think John Manelli's whacking off somewhere right now. All, all this current news. They oh, sorry. Oh. sorry. Not far away in a parking garage. There were no signs Sorry, of drugs producer, or alcohol in the North case. Show. So kind of amazing. They got a passion. They passionately fell to their death. I know people that have fallen off beds and gotten hurt like that while they're having sex. Did that ever happen to you, Fred? No, talk about stupid. Yeah. Well, you got to have... You talk gotta, about dumb We got Opie and Anthony. what I like to do. <laughs> talk about stupid. Let's go to o and It would be a perfect segue. It really would. Uh, we, it it would have made us laugh. It's like a stunt man. When he falls, he falls into a big bath. I think we're on. The whole bedroom's a playground. That's yeah, right. I do like, like this guy's voice. <laughs> when he gets to the front door, you have to jump in. Why they dropped us? We're not being dirty. Because Opie said jerked off. No, don't play. Blame it on me. You did. Tonight, did I apologize? I'm blaming you. Guys. I'm blaming you for us. getting us dropped and blaming you for getting Manelli fired. That's right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get him on. Top of the hour. I would say... Why not? In a fight between Ditka, I think he's getting us on at the top of the hour. To see the White Sox take on the Chicago Cubs on Friday, June 22nd. Brought to you by Murray's Discount. All the stores top. Top I like listening to this guy. Guaranteed low prices by Windy City Limousine. Huh? He's a 67 person. Drop him? Why? Why do we have to drop him? That's what Eric said. Why? Are we on yet? Thank you. Uh, Hi. This is Doug. Where did you buy your used car? Stop Stop it. It. Working. Oh, whoa. Don't we are. We're all answering the commercial. <laughs> This is Doug. Hi, Doug. Stop it. So you're on a flight, and all of a sudden you just smell the bathroom <laughs> back up. What happens? That's, do the oxygen masks come down so you don't have to breathe it in? What do you do? <laughs> do they serve the food in those little handy wipes you can dab under your nose like you're a coroner? Well, uh, apparently the uh, stewardesses, the uh, 
the uh, flight attendants were wearing those masks and uh, like th- things over their hair and everything. They were they were wearing all kinds of uh, protective gear when they went up and down the aisle, and they served food and drink, but they told the people, don't eat or drink too much. Cup tickets in the 9 o'clock hour. Ooh. Text messages at six nice. They should have thrown themselves on the rug and sacrificed Verizon. themselves. Opian Soaked it up with their clothes. Oh, join us. yes. It is 9.02 on WSCR 670, the Mike North Morning Show. Fred Hubner Sports Update. Well, from the ownacondo.com update studio, scoreboard update brought to you by... Oh, now we don't have to do sports updates. Subscribe at suntimes.com. Rangers over the Cubs last night, 7-3. to three. Soriano and Hill with home runs for the I like Cubs. Soriano. Well, Sammy hit number 600. We're going to be all low on Rangers. the phone. Sammy oh, is joining Aaron. I bet Bob. we are. Maybe be like, we can't hear you. Right. club. Jason Marquis took the we loss earlier XR. in the day. Michael oh, Barrett traded to the San Diego Padres along with $1.5 million in exchange mm. for switch hitting catcher Rob Bowen and a minor league outfielder Tyler Burke. And now when he met the media down in San Diego, Barrett was asked if he saw this one coming. I don't know if it was... Uh inevitable you know i don't know if that was if that was the case but um you know like i said we'd started to play better baseball over there joey from howard and, uh, beach i wasn't really would sure be what if was they're going on. effing with you, you know, guys I'm and just, just keep telling you you'll be on in two minutes <laughs> that, is fun. And, that would be funny um, we gotta you know, use that they, one when they told me i was traded uh um you know i I've, i know how this business works and anything can happen. Yes, it can. So, Barry, yep. now a member of the San Diego Padres, Ted Lilly goes to 105 this afternoon, final game of the three-game set in Texas. Marlins beat the White Sox yesterday 5-4. to four. The Sox have now dropped 19 of 24 games. John Garland, a hard luck loser. Oof. Paul Konerko at a home run set afterwards. It's kind of hard to forget about everything that's happening at the ballpark when you actually leave the park and go home. You get frustrated by every little thing that's going wrong right now. You'll yeah. kill yourself. I mean, that's mm-hmm. how bad it's going. So, I mean, you kind of have to disconnect at some point when you leave. What is he, a member of the Opie and Anthony show? I put a good, honest day's <laughs> work in, and, you know, I'm going to go not take it out on my family. I mean, you can't do that. I mean, that's just not the way it goes anymore. I'm, you can't do that maybe I'm when you're single. this guy. But, Five breaks in 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, New Hampshire. Good. it's not, it's not Good. fun. I love Polly. It's not the way it goes anymore. Now, five years ago, you could take it out in the family. Right. But now, no, you don't think there's some domestic problems? Nice. With not some of the families of the white Domestic violence uh-huh. reference. Please. Yeah. You, I come home from a softball game that we, we should have won. I'm aggravated. Jerry Owens sent down. Looks like uh, Darren Erstad will be activated. <laughs> well, you know what happened to Jerry Owens, game. don't you? You know why he got sent down? Why? He laid down a successful button, moved the runners yesterday. Yeah. And right after that, they couldn't wait to send him out. Yeah. They go, this will not be accepted here. Okay, now that you can Did button, you remember that? Yeah, now that you can button, try and hit for some power. Yeah, you're the first guy that's really laid down a successful mu- a button a month. We're sending you to Charlotte. Uh, Pac-Man Jones faces two felony coercion charges from uh, February Las Vegas shootings. <laughs> it's a sports show. They have to do a, sports. Uh, a strip joint and have it rain. 81,000. Bad things are usually. You know what? I had it rain one time. I'm watching one Maury. Time. I want to okay, see if this the ninth person that Thank tested God for this girl <laughs> to see if he's a father. Nine. No, the first eight were no. Years ago, was it? No, I'm Scoreboard She's update a good girl. Three mm-hmm. quarters, a dime, and two pennies. <laughs> Apple Chevrolet in Tivoli Park. Well, really, four pennies. That would make it 89. <laughs> Rain and money. Yep, yep. That's what I like to do. Math is tough, though. It's, nice. it's horrible. If you didn't get it from Apple Chevrolet, you paid too much for it. You are listening That's to what the I exclusive say. radio home for the Chicago <laughs> White Sox. 670, the score next broadcast Friday, 2.30. Sox and the Cubs. I'm Fred Hubner on 670, the score, and 670, the com. Tell them, Fred. Oh, this is so appropriate. Listen to this music. <laughs> Chariots of Fire. Along a beach in their underwear, like they did in Chariots of Fire. We're pleased they have us. The Mike North Morning Show. Opie Hello. and Anthony, what's up, gentlemen? Hello, Mike North. How are you? How are you guys doing? Very good, very good. I've uh, been listening to your show, watching you on Pal Talk. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Pal Talk, they came and gave us a demonstration. I said this will never fly, but apparently you guys, now I didn't say you were, here's what I, I thought we were the first, but you guys have had it for how long? Ah, uh, we don't care. Like, maybe a week. Honestly, we, in the end, we don't care. We've had it for a while. We were just we were just trying to goof off today. And Mike, we don't mind that you called us tools. We don't care about that. Yeah, I don't want you guys, you know, because I heard you guys, you listen, I walked into the into the studio, into the uh, the control room, and, and, and they said, it sounds like a guy that doesn't have fun. Well, oh. Ants, come on. 
You got to know me. I love to have a good time. You I've been listening me? to you. I've been listening to you, and I, I kind of liked how you uh, you beat around the bush on the domestic violence little joke there. That was fun. Well, <laughs> That's right up our alley. You think, <laughs> listen, you guys, being out of New York, basically, you know yeah. that there hasn't been a lot of domestic violence uh, with the Yankees or the Mets because, uh, you know, quite frankly, they're doing well right now. But, you know, during the horse. <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, there had to be and they're all gay. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest about it, you know. But this, this pal talk thing is new to me. I don't yeah. Get it. Well, we were trying to welcome you to Pal Talk in our special way by doing what's called a room raid. So we had all our people go into your room and show you some horrific things today. Well, you guys are close. Oh, yesterday, not actually. From Stern, right? Yeah, uh, yeah absolutely, because yeah. he invented he invented it all. <laughs> See, Let we all know he invented... Let me tell this... you something. You two guys mess with my Pal Talk anymore, you will be abducted, taken to St. Patrick's Cathedral, and mounted. Do you understand me? Oh, hey. Been there. You better watch what you say about the church, my friend. <laughs> we we right. know. You, we, we have to agree on this. Is also, if Alfonso Soriano is playing in Chicago? Yes, he is. Does he not look like the guy that Kevin Dillon brained with his rifle in Platoon? <laughs> you know what? You, I haven't seen Platoon for a long time, but I'm going to go along with you on that. You ever see a head come he apart like that? His, look, huh? He has big teeth like the guy who got his head caved in with the rifle butt. That's all I want to say about sports. <laughs> and let's, yes, sir. All right, well, let's talk about what you guys do. Let's talk about, right. well, besides getting trouble. Besides yeah. getting trouble. Well, occasionally that happens. That kind of is the stuff that makes the news there, Mike, you know. Let me ask but you uh, uh, basically, we're just trying to entertain, you know. Yeah, we got people on Pal Talk. For you guys? How hard is it for you guys? Are you guys starting to do what a lot of people are starting to do? You try to keep the, the you, you, uh, a, you know, stiff upper lip, but do you, do you find yourself catching yourselves a little bit? Uh, yeah, a, l yeah. a little bit. Uh, still keeping it out on the edge there. But, uh, ah, you know, who wants to talk about that? I want to I wanna inform you about a little bit more about Pal Talk. Yeah, I see you got like a... about Pal Talk because I'm a big fan. I see you got a <laughs> lot of administrators in here. Those are the red names. Uh, those are the people that kick people out of the oh, room. Yeah, I, I, I guess there's people, as, as I'm looking at this thing, guys, I'm looking at people getting uh, kicked out. It says, uh, Bill... Hell support. We want everyone to enjoy and have fun here. This is a G-rated room. Yeah. What happens on that deal, guys? Yeah, here's the first thing you got to do. Get those red administrators out and get your room an R rating at least. That way you can watch nude women mm -hmm. during your show. I'm in. And, and it works. The only thing is you need one person that's there to get rid of uh, the guys that tend to come in. Um, and for some reason, they're usually um, Arab gentlemen. They like coming in and maybe not centering the camera on their face, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and uh, then they harass whatever girls are in there and try to show them um, what they're uh, um, packing. Really? So yeah. Wait, so listen, you're saying, Mike, <laughs> if you want to see an Arab man's penis, this is what yeah. you got to do. Is this yeah. what you're telling me? Exactly, an Arab man's penis. Uh, you will love it on, on Pal Talk. No hey, matter guys. what Gary and the rest of the Pal Talk admins tell you, it's all about guys hooking up with girls and uh, spanking. That's nice. That's yeah. nice. Well, you know welcome. Really, what do you guys prefer, spanking it yourself and letting the girl watch or having her do it? Hmm. Um. I don't know. What, think? Whatever makes her cry fastest. Go for your auntie, but they were thinking about what the response was going to be. That was that was little Jimmy Norton. Well, out of proportion. There's no yeah. question about it. Yeah. Yes, that's Pretty nothing. Cool. All right, look, we got a show to do, Mike, and I'm sure you do too. But I'm glad we were able to get hey, the uh, air cleared here. Good to talk in for and for uh, for you coming in the last time. I heard that you got a hat, you got a T-shirt, okay, mm -hmm. and a handgun coming up. All right. <laughs> Oh, I did, nice. I, well, that was you, though. I think I did. Sh I I did a radio show. You sound really familiar, and and I I'm like I think that he gave something out. You do do that, right? Oh yeah, I gave out some chaco sticks. <laughs> <laughs> give out anything. All right, oh, that you later. <laughs> It's okay. Take it easy there. Anthony. I see you. <laughs> All right, Mike. I swear to God, I, will, I thought that I was him. I'm an idiot. You're confused, Jimmy. I'm embarrassing the show. You know, it's funny. He goes... Mounted, abducted he's, and mounted at St. Patrick's <laughs> Cathedral. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> said he, uh, he recognized the, the background. Be one of the oh, the after talk? The yeah, the after talk. Why don't they can take care of two of the stations You can either lay down flat on your face and do what I tell you, or we can have Rocky lay you down on your face, and then I will mount you. I don't know where he's going with this. How's that? You know, hey, they're not bad guys. 
They don't seem no, like that. They I, I don't think that. So you never get to hear this part. I'm going to just oh, they don't care. Let me no, tell you care. something. Oh, they, let me tell you something. It's just radio. They, they may be guys that have been in more trouble than me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you no. know what? And there are very few of you. It's a very small fraternity. <laughs> there's not many left. <laughs> no, there's, there's not you, many left. We're holding up. you, Stern, O&A, Manco. Ugh. Ugh. How's he doing? go there. Yeah, thank He's you. Gone. If I'm in this yeah. company, I want to shoot myself. If I'm in the company of those people. Studio here in Chicago because he's syndicated in small. I, I, I did a show in my in my room in for years basement? and years. Yeah, no, nobody ever heard it. Front of <laughs> okay, he's goofing on man cow. <laughs> a new friend. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? Don't with his plan either. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very Hello. good. Thank you. Thank you. Don't curse. <laughs> just hung up on she us. She just goes hello. Oh, she probably shit, couldn't hear still us. There. She didn't talk or say anything. We she, were listening to the. We were listening you know, in. This is the stuff you don't get to hear after you hang up the phone. Yeah. People talking about you.